Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. It is just a couple of days before my next Ironman, Ironman Hamburg 2023. It's gonna be my third Ironman. My goal is to try and give it my absolute all and go as fast as I can. I know that in the past Ironmans I've done, I've left quite a lot of my potential out there, both in the training, maybe not training enough or not specifically enough, or on the race course because of things that happen on race day. This time, I really dedicated all my focus, my intention and my energy to develop the strongest mind that I can, the most endurance that I can in order to tackle this event with everything I've got. Of course, I'm just an age grouper, so nobody pays me to do this, but it is really exciting for me uh, to do these events, like I believe for a lot of you guys who tune into these videos. So I've been hard at work in the lab, training hard and seeing what things I can learn and pull out of myself through different tactics in order to then relate to them to you guys. I would like to give you just a couple of updates, what I've been doing in training, what I've changed from last year and some gear upgrades that maybe you can find interesting and useful for you guys, regardless of how this event goes. I mean, I've done everything I can as of now. But on race day, anything can happen. So I just wanted to get a video out there, talk about what I've been doing and separate it from the outcome of the event because I've already seen a lot of signs of getting better and a lot of things that have made me faster, even through gear. So I would like to share them with you guys. I hope you guys are also training hard, working towards your goals. As always, I can't recommend doing an Ironman or 70.3 enough because in my opinion, it is just such an incredible sport slash mindset developer slash life school uh, because it just teaches you so many things about yourself, it teaches you so many things about your perceived limitations and going past them. And in my opinion, it is just like a really cool event. And also training for an Ironman is something that really develops incredible resilience, incredible mind strength, in my opinion. Let me share with you guys how I've been training for this event because it is very different from the past ones. The major things that I changed were to a, get guidance from an app. So I've been using the Motive app since I basically started training for Simon. So the Motive app provided the foundation for all the training. So if it was an interval session, tempo session, how recovery weeks were inserted in the plan, intensity days, rest days, recovery days, long days, more race pace stuff. And I've been absolutely loving the Motive app. It is so awesome. Disclaimer, I am an ambassador for the app, but I absolutely love it. If you want to do any type of endurance event, Ironman, ultra trail runs, swim run, anything, the app can prepare you for it. I'm using it. I really love it. I'm going to keep on using it regardless of how this event goes because I've already seen the results coming in with the numbers. So this time I really went incredibly specific and incredibly dedicated to this. Doing an Ironman is in a league of its own because it combines three really hard things to do, one after the other. Your physical strength needs to be on point, your endurance needs to be on point, your mindset needs to be on point, your gear needs to be on point, and I believe this time I really prepared it to the best of my ability. I trained around 280 hours starting at the end of January. So last year I was 73 kilos and I had an FTP of 272 watts. This year I am 71 kilos and I have an FTP of 289 watts. Last year average watts for the race were 185, normalized was 204. This year I have been training and the target race pace is 214 watts. And also the run pace has changed dramatically. For this event, I didn't go to Asia, I didn't travel, I didn't do basically anything that wasn't conducive to being more prepared for this Ironman. And that specifically looks like for the bike, I trained a lot indoors. I got a Zwift Hub and I did a lot of the sessions indoors. So if it was an interval session, I, I did some outside, but past like month and a half, I've been training basically only indoors. If it was a specific session, intervals, even tempo rides, I would do them on a TT bike, I would do it indoors. And also guys, I did a thing that if one year you would have told me that I would have done this, I would have laughed in your face, but I did one 170 kilometer ride outside with the TT bike and the other two long rides, I did them both on Zwift. So I did two 180 kilometer rides on Zwift. This is so hard. I just figured that Hamburg is a really flat course, so it needs you to produce constant power. And training outdoors, it's not an easy thing to do because you have traffic lights, you have stop signs, you have people driving and looking at their phones. So I just said, okay, let's just get our mindset right and let's do this on the trainer. And I believe it is an 
insane way to train for a uh, full distance Ironman. Now I have a really solid benchmark of what I can push and what it feels like to push power constantly because I did it on the trainer basically. So I trained a lot more indoors and the other thing I did is I trained a lot more for the run, specifically long runs. So I did multiple uh, runs above 20 kilometers with race pace, so not only zone two like I did last year. And I also did a 30 kilometer run which was basically entirely race pace. So yeah, and that is very different from last year where I just did the long runs as zone two runs. Uh, this year, I got really a lot more specific and I think it paid off. I feel a lot more ready for the run. The swim, I basically didn't change anything from last year, but I've seen some results in the swim as well. I didn't swim much. I did swim a little bit more than last year, but the thing I did was I swam a lot more with a pool boy and a snorkel. And this really helped me to dial in my stroke, seeing what I do. And the funny thing is I swim slower with a snorkel because I don't roll as much. So as soon as I took away the snorkel and I got back into like, kind of like my race pace stroke. So training, motor app, training indoors, training specific for the run, and basically just training for months towards this goal, specifically in the past two months. The goal of doing an Ironman faster, better, stronger really excites me. So I decided to focus all my energy on that. Hence the really low upload rate of the past months, because trust me, right now I seem like I'm, I'm even though I'm tense, it seems like I'm smiling, but it's been really tough. It's been really hardcore preparation. So as an average age grouper, I need to dial in my gear also because everything that you can improve within your gear is basically free speed. And specifically on the bike, this is the thing that I've been working on the most. So I'm not gonna go really into specifics because I'm gonna make a recap video after the event when I've tested all this stuff. But so far, the major thing that I've changed, the bike is always the same, but I've put in a front hydration system here so that I can drink with this straw and I can refill with this port. So last year I had a, a water bottle in the front, but I think that for Hamburg, which is like really, really flat, this solution is better. Even if it's like 300 grams heavier, I think it is better as a solution. So that is definitely something that I've improved. And then I made another massive upgrade. So it's actually more than one upgrade, but the overarching theme of, the, of these upgrades is aerodynamic. Aerodynamics on a course like Hamburg, I believe to be everything basically. So the biggest thing that I changed is, that's right, I got one of those crazy Starship Trooper aero helmets and this thing really makes a big difference compared to the one I had last year, which was pretty garbage. This helmet is legit. It really makes you more aero. So that's why I'm making this video before the race because even if I haven't raced, I know that this thing makes you faster. So if you're in the market for an aero helmet, get one because it really makes a difference. Another small upgrade is aero socks. These guys supposedly save five to eight watts and we're gonna see if they work. We'll test them out and see what happens. Oof. Okay guys, it is 4 p.m. We are in Turin, Italy. It is time to start packing. Let me show you the list. It's a pretty long list. I need to get my ass in gear, get everything ready. I'm already checked in for the flights. I mean, logistics is a huge part. Just getting to the event is a huge part of doing an Ironman if you do it abroad. So yeah, let's get packing. So what we're gonna do with the bike is we're going to have to take out the seat post. We're gonna take off the rear derailleur, front wheel, of course. We're gonna to have to take apart the front system, pedals, and then we're gonna put it in this box. Forgive the mess, but right now, this is the reality. So this is the box into which I'm gonna put all that stuff. So here we have all the list. And yeah, <laughs> it's quite a lot of stuff. Pretty specific, but it's good. Swimming, we have wetsuit. It's very probably gonna be very cold in the water, so I'm taking a neoprene swim cap. And just in case it is really extremely cold, I have these neoprene booties as well. Under 18 degrees, you can use these. Goggles, so we have form goggles. Great for pacing open water. Nose clip, two pairs of just stand goggles. In actuality, I'm 99% gonna be using the form goggles. Wetsuit we have, of course, the Sumapo Victory Wetsuit, which is an absolutely amazing wetsuit. So thin on the shoulders. It basically doesn't feel like having it on. Amazing wetsuit. Pretty expensive, but it is worth it if you want the best regular swim cap, this mp3 player, but I'm going to be using it the morning of the race to listen to music while I go to the start line. And that is swimming done. So next up, I'm going to be preparing the stuff for the bike. And here we have something amazing. So this year we have a custom tri suit, completely custom by Ale Cycling, but especially from my triathlon team, PPR team. And why is this special? Well, because it is my size, so it is size M, more aero shoulders, more aero, basically the whole body is more aero, and it has 
the logos of the YouTube channel partners. So this is amazing. These brands are the brands that really help out with the channel. These guys rule. So if you see in the link in the description, there will be discount codes for all these guys. Um, check them out if you want. Vegan food, 360 cameras, Insta360, Motive for coaching, Coro vegan food, Nitalis for cameras, action cameras, DJI, Sumapa for wetsuits, compression stuff, sunglasses. So thank you to all of these guys. Thank you to Pipiera team. Then we have the Aero helmet, torque wrench, chain tool, a spare chain link, HRM Pro Plus, which I only changed from the HRM Pro because the HRM Pro broke. And then because it's gonna probably be very cold, I have arm warmers, Aero vest, and Aero socks here. So bike run, very simple. These guys, Alpha Flies. I basically didn't run in these the whole year. I ran like, I don't know, like 40K in them. Sunglasses and this hat. Boom, boom, boom. So for this year, we also have a new race belt, spare Super Sapiens sensor. This is the Super Sapiens energy band. And I'm gonna put all the like tech stuff, the charges there, fuel. So we are gonna take a bunch of these, all of these gels. These are all coming up. And then I'm gonna take just handfuls of these, basically. I'm gonna take up a fair amount of this because this is gonna be the bulk of my nutrition for the race. I'm gonna be doing one of these per hour, two scoops of this per hour, and top it off with these guys and get raid from the aid stations. A functioning air tag to put on my bike. And bam, that's done. Eat up batteries and the battery charger. Electrolyte tabs and some ashwagandha for sleep. I think we're good to go. Now, the thing to do is to pack up the bike. And guys, one last thing, this little trick that I did last year for the bike box, because I don't really want to buy a bike box that weighs six kilos. So I'm using this bike box from a shop, which I cut down to the dimensions that I wanted. So it's like 140 by 70 uh, of height. Uh, and it's great. The only problem with bike boxes is that you can't really pull them along because they don't have any wheels. So this is what I did. So this is a pull boy with a skateboard truck underneath. And this way, here, let me show you. So guys, to be honest, I truly can't believe this is happening. I can't believe the day has come. This is the first time I've committed to an event so early. I signed up, I think in October or something like that. It has really occupied my mind for all these months. I'm super stoked to be going there and to see where I can push my body, my mind, and especially who I can become during the event. To be honest, and I believe for the vast majority of Ironman age group triathletes, it is not so much about the actual event day, but it is more about the training. So all the training, the journey, what happened in the past months, all those times that you wanted to hit the snooze alarm and you actually got up and you got it done all those times that you squeeze like rides in time frames where they w weren't just supposed to be. And especially, I mean, and this is in my case, who I have become in the train. The training is really, it really is a journey. I've, I live it as a journey. And who I was when I started in January, it is not who I am today. I have, in, I have endured another human transformation. I have become another person. I'm not the same person that I was on January. And I believe I've become more resilient, more purposeful, more uh, focused on the things that, that I really want to do, uh, more in tune with myself, with my body, with my mind. And I've become a lot more decisive and my mind has become incredibly more tough. So excited to see who I become on event day. This time I'm gonna give everything I've got. I know the past times I didn't, and this time it's gonna be all in. I'm gonna do everything that I'm able to do I will do it. It's gonna be a hell of a journey. If you're in Hamburg, hit me up. Maybe we can ride a bit of the course together or meet up, whatever. I'm stoked, I'm happy, and I'm grateful to be headed towards this new adventure and out of my comfort zone once again. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.